Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here on the Exile server, continuing with this uh, farm build that I'm doing here. Um, I have the corral all set up. I have a few horses that were walking around out there uh, corralled in here, and um, I might have to add a third level back there because I think it's not the black and white horse. It's these one of these black horses jumps uh, more than three blocks high, so every now and then he gets out. <clears throat> I'll be <laughs> I'll be working over here on the crops. You can see I did a lot of the crops. Um, I'll be working over here, and I'll come back here for supplies or something, and I'll see him. Uh, I'll see him either in the water or running off <laughs> into the swamp, and I have to chase him. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to add um, another level of fence. I think that would be. I don't think he can jump three and a half. So if I put another level of fence there, that'll hold him in there. I tested it with him, and you know he can't jump more than uh, four high. So I might have to add a third or fourth level to the fence and then test him and see if he gets out again. Um, so yeah, these are the crops, and I, this is pretty much going to be the extent of them. I'm not going to go much bigger than this. Uh, really, all I'm doing with these is I'm not really using them for food as much, uh, with the exception of the potatoes. The carrots and wheat are really just for breeding. The melons and the pumpkins are just there for, you know, uh, in case I need, in case I want to use pumpkin at all, the melon is just there for looks, really. Um, I do need to light this place up. It's very dark here at night, and there are some spawn some mobs spawning in there and breaking up the, uh, the um, soil. So, um, once I get the lighting done in here, we're going to do lighting and some of the lighting inside this barn today. And, um, I don't know what I'm going to do out here. I might, f I'll figure something out as far as lighting the place up goes, but it's pretty much contained. So I don't care what spawns in there. And I also added this, uh, kind of made my own fence here. I was going to do this around the whole place, but it's a little bulky. I kind of like the way it looks here, just having these animals corralled in here. Um, it works for these guys in this situation. So I just left a little bit of the grass because kind of the whole point of this is just that they're actually grazing, you know, on the grass. And then I put a few inside. So for the most part, um, this part of the farm is complete. Um, here we're gonna fill these spaces in here. So I just threw a few cows in there. This will be for the pigs. Maybe I'll do that today as well. And then over here, um, I'm gonna try and get a couple of donkeys and a couple of mules in this pen here. This way, uh, pretty much have all the uh, I have everything represent represented. This is, this is here. This is my horse here. This is the first horse that I had on the server. Um, managed to keep him alive this long and so now he's corralled in there and is stable and he should uh, be fine and one of the horses probably the guy who he's actually really fast too. this horse that jumps uh, the horse that can jump so I'm gonna definitely gonna breed him and I want to get him in here so he can breed with him and then I'll figure out uh, I'll grab another horse to put in there and those will be you know my horses more or less so that's pretty much it as far as the update goes to where we are and uh, I don't know if I ever talked about this this is just a temporary thing that I built just to kind of keep me safe I used to have a bed in there before I had the office underneath the stairs of the barn uh, I just threw it in there it was just a little safer but this is all coming down and I just kind of made this kind of like a one-stop shop with the anvil and the um, enchanting table and all these chests and furnaces and everything else just to try and speed this along because I don't want to have to run back to the house every time I needed to do something. So it's actually saved me a lot of time. So, um, what should we do next? Let's do some of this. I don't have enough of these, um, item frames to do this, but I'll show you what I am thinking. Uh, just to do something different so I don't want I don't really want to do glowstone lamps because uh, I don't like just throwing levers on things I actually have to do that over there I don't really have a choice I, like, I can live with it but I don't want to have to do it too much so I'm just gonna leave the lighting like this 
It'll serve its purpose, and it doesn't look too, too bad. I only have enough for one more, and then I'm going to have to get some leather. Um, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of breeding cows and stuff like that. So, you can see, though, at least it looks a little different. Mm -hmm. And it's simple, and it's fast, and I can uh, get this stuff done and concentrate on... Um, some of the bigger things that I need to do here. So while we're on the subject of the levers, I thought, let's get these done here. See, I'm not crazy about this look, but it works. And we have a little bit of light outside here. And I started putting in um, the lighting here, and I figured I would. I was just going to do it. I figured I might as well record, and just while I'm, while I'm doing it, I could talk with you guys about... Uh, what's going to be happening here. Um, there's a uh, redstone underneath here. I, when I was building the barn, I kind of put it in there beforehand. So um, if in case you're wondering how the lights are just going on, I'm not sure if I want to put one here or not. I guess I probably should. Um, yeah. Oh, I do have one there. That's why it's dirt. Uh, do I have any dark oak? All right. So now at least the bottom floor is lit up enough. I didn't, I'm not sure if it's, I might need some more. This is still kind of dark here. <clears throat> one of the biggest problems that I've been having with the barn is things, uh, spawning up on the rafters, so I'm going to have to get up there and throw some torches on there too. And I'll do that again when I'm uh, off camera. I don't have to worry about anything spawning up on the loft. That's all uh, half slabs. Uh, nothing's going to spawn up there. I lost some of the torches on the wall there too. It's, I don't know what happened there. I'm going to put that back. I'll take care of that. I really want to get rid of all these torches. I'm not a big fan of just putting torches up on the walls when you have the option of doing a glowstone lamp like this and um, something that's even uh, better. I'll show you guys at the end of this video is an even better option. One of the reasons why I want to get rid of the, uh, <clears throat> the lamps, the uh, torches. So I'm just going to go and get um, a, I think it's over here. I need a, I need something to take care of those, uh, get the pigs, the pen up and running for them. I need some iron too. So this build is actually turning out about, I guess, I don't want to say it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be pretty big when I started it because I had a, I built this giant barn and now I have to build everything to scale. So this path here is just going to go back and, um, it's going to lead to a pretty uh, pretty sizable farmhouse. Not really sure yet how I'm going to lay that out. I might just work on the foundation and, uh, you know, come back on. Like Maybe we'll build it together. All right, so I've got a couple cauldrons now. And I'm going to use that. Do I have any half slabs? Uh, you don't know if that's going to be enough. Let me just grab some more. I also need to make the entrance to the farm, which is probably going to be an arc or an arch or something here. I'm not sure yet. Oh, that's a lot of mobs. Yeah, so lighting the floor is necessary. Hey, hey, hey. What 
was not ready. Where'd he go? Hey! We have an invisible spider. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. Thought he despawned. Okay, let's get this lit up here. Again, I'm just gonna put uh, glowstone, either glowstone lamps or maybe glowstone. Figure out some way to light this up so I can get rid of these torches here. All right, I'm going to now, what did I say we were gonna do guys? Oh yeah, pigs, take care of these pigs. So we're gonna do um doesn't really matter where I put them. <clears throat> Just need uh some water now. Fill up these, um, fill these up, and then we're just gonna do. Let me see, I think I also need a trapdoor. Gonna have a crafting table around here. Alright, so I made the trapdoors and also just went back real quick and made a change. Here, kind of like this. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of like that better. Now, what I'm do with the trap doors? Well, well, the one trap door. So, I just want to make like a an opening here for um, for the pigs, so we can get in and out uh, from the outside. So, uh, I'll put the trap door on the other side. leave that like that it doesn't need to close and there's no need to close it it just kind of makes it look like it's um, open for the pigs to get through they will get through there eventually they'll come and investigate what's going on and man the sun's going down again Gotta make sure nothing falls on me this place gets very dangerous all right so that is done and then what I want to do is I want to take all right sorry about that was, uh, interrupted stop recording for a minute but I just wanted to do something to uh, this if pigs are gonna be in here then you want it to be a little muddy so let's make it muddy put some puddles in here grass and a little bit of dirt it's supposed to look messy and then I'll just uh, grab some um, I'll grab some pigs and I'll just throw some pigs in here uh, or I'll just eventually they'll walk in I mean I tested this with the um, on a creative, uh, on my creative server, single player, and it worked. Every now and then, one of the babies would creep through there before he was, uh, before he grew, but that was fine. See, the sheeps won't fit. Just need, uh, the pigs are the only ones that'll fit through there because they're only one high, so I need to eat. I think that's it. Did I have any other plans for lighting? Uh, right. I'm all turned around. Let's see, anything up there? Okay. 
I was thinking about putting two here, but I don't know if that's really necessary. Um, probably gonna add some some more lighting on the outside here, and <clears throat> maybe just a couple up there just to make it look like uh, there's a light on up there or something. And I think at this point, um, I never ate, did I? I think at this point, I'm ready for to start planning out the uh, house, the farmhouse. I might build a, another house just on the property somewhere. Just as like a, I don't know, some kind of guest house maybe. Or a utility house, I don't know. Uh, I'll If I do do that though, I'll just make an episode on that as well. It won't be anything too big compared to the farmhouse. Farmhouse is going to be pretty big if, if, if it comes out uh, the way I'm planning it, the way I'm thinking about it, I think it's going to be pretty big. There's going to be a whole storage section underneath for just about every item I can. So um, the whole point of this is to just more or less make this my base, I guess you would call it. So I need to be able to do everything here. So and when I'm done, I'm going to replant some of the trees so that it doesn't lose that uh, covered forest effect too much, even though a big part of it is going to be flattened out, you know. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't think I forgot anything. Got some lighting in. Should help a little bit. Um, I need to light up the rafters in the barn. But for the most part, I think that is it for this episode. Oh yeah, there is one more thing, most important thing that I wanted to show you guys. When I build this, I, I use a different texture pack. It's a brand new texture pack uh, made by Durzo, who uh, is actually... Uh, designing this pack on his own and i'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys if you want to um, follow along with it it's uh, probably going to be i think in my in my uh, opinion it's going to be one of the most popular resource packs that minecraft has uh, has seen yet i use faithful right now and it looks okay but wait do you see what this place looks like using Durzo's uh, texture pack. It's not complete, and the version that I'm using right now is actually not even released yet, but um, if you wanna see more of it, like I said, I will link to it, and he does a texture a day. So I forget what he's up to now. I think he's up to 80, 85, or something like that. And uh, wait till you guys see it. It's, uh, it's gonna change the way this whole place looks. And very soon I'm going to be doing a whole uh, episode, just on, a whole video, just on the resource pack and the different uh, and the different um, textures that he has going so far. And um, if I can get it out of him, maybe a plan on what some of the textures are going to look like uh, that he hasn't completed yet. So let me do that. I'll be right back, and you guys see a big difference in the way this looks. Let me do it back here so you can see everything. There we go. Okay, guys, here is Durzo's texture pack. So you can see right off the bat, the barn looks amazing. Um, the wood texture. I mean, I absolutely love this resource pack. Um, I've been using this now to design this whole place. That's why I went with gravel here, because look at the gravel. Compared to the default gravel, this gravel looks awesome. Um, the wood textures, like I said, I think they're, most of them are done, if they're not all done. The fence... It's the reason that I like this so much is I use faithful as a uh, pretty much I use faithful all the time. I don't use the default texture pack and I like faithful because it's it's true to the default textures. They just look a little more cleaned up and a little more defined. And this pack um, that Durzo is doing takes it even further than that and makes everything look that much better and cleaner. Everything has like a clean, crisp texture to it the cobblestone um you know you wouldn't even know to look at this cobblestone but when you switch back to the default pack or even the faithful pack you see a huge difference in the cobblestone um doesn't really jump out as much as something like the um crafting table you know the anvil has been redone um does it look drastically different no but it just looks cleaner and just um design you know design better uh new furnaces Again, he doesn't um, sway too much from the default look. It just kind of cleans it up and makes it look, you know, makes it look better. Um, I'm not going to show you everything in this pack. Like I said, I'm going to do another video just on that. He's he's really done a lot with this 
but this pack still has a lot more to go but you can see the new glowstone texture here uh, the stone slab uh, the regular stone um, stone texture the um, farmed uh, I guess you call it farmed soil it just has more definition to it and um, let's see what else he has done here the torch has been redone doesn't really look too drastically different from the default one but when you go back and you see uh, you see how much better this looks and how much nicer it looks so uh, the door has been changed the bed the, that's the way the bed is gonna look now um, yeah this is the wood texture alone you know the, uh, the flower pots different and let's see let's go to the house I'll show you guys uh, what a good job he's done on the um, stained glass as well so this pack now I'm, I'm gonna put a link up on the screen for you there uh, just go there I'll put a link in the description as well you can go there and follow along with Derzo. You can also follow him on Twitter. What he's doing is he's doing a texture a day. So here you can see the white stained glass. It just looks amazing. So much cleaner looking than the default pack and even even uh, the faithful pack. So um, yeah, so he's going. So he's doing a texture a day. He's got a lot of textures done, but still has a long way to go. I don't know. Uh, you can get a version of this uh, pack. He does release, I think, I think he does release the packs um, to the public. But there are some things that you might not see on your on the public pack uh, that you see on this one because this is kind of like a, a an advanced copy, I guess you would say, of what he has done. Some of the textures here haven't been released yet, so he does do uh, a texture a day. So. He, by the time this video comes out, I'm sure there'll be a few more textures that have been added to it. Um, but I am going to do very soon, I'm going to do another, I'll do a video just on this resource pack. So, because I, I think he's at the point now where I can do it. And most of the, most of the wood is done. I think all the wood is done and a lot of the blocks are done. So look at this uh, crafting table. I mean, how great does that look? This is really one of the few things that he really got away from the default texture on, but um, you can't. You can't really say anything bad about it. Um, you can't really fault that because it just looks it just looks great. It looks great. The sand has been changed. It's just brighter, cleaner looking. The glass, like I said, all of the glass just looks great. I don't know why I have these four torches there. I'm not going to take them down though. Maybe they serve a purpose. Uh, the cauldron. Look at the cauldron. I mean, I don't even know if one of the one of the best looking parts of this pack I mean there's a lot of them but um, one of the things that really looks best don't tell me I don't have one, is the here we go Wait, do you guys see this so I'll show you this too this also is an awesome texture of this pack is the rail uh, the minecart really did a nice job on it the rail the rails have been cleaned up. Break. The rails have been cleaned up so that looks cleaner too. And the, the mine carts all look like this. They have this texture to it. So yeah, really, it's just a really nice job. Um, last thing I'll show you is uh, the trap door. And then, like I said, we'll do a I'll do a whole video just on the new blocks and creative so you guys can see, you know, the latest ones that he's working on. And uh, if he's willing to divulge it, maybe some of the stuff that he has planned for in the future of this pack as well. So so definitely give uh, give Derzo a follow. Check out, I believe he has a Reddit page where you could follow along uh, with him, you know, as he develops these different uh, different textures every day. So... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you much more than this. I'll, like I said, I'll save it for the next video. But yeah, very happy. I love this pack and uh, the wool textures you can see up here now. So uh, yeah, I can go on and on about this now. The birch, <laughs> the birch texture. So all right, I'm gonna end the video now before I uh, give the whole pack away. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate uh, 
anyone who watches my uh, my silly videos and uh, any comments or likes. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see how this whole farm comes out, please do. Always appreciate any subscriptions, and I will see you guys for the next one. Watch out behind you, <laughs> Creeper! Creeper! Yes, yeah, Skills got your wood. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna die too! Oh, 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 here's all my stuff. One all right, skeleton right is taking that. us all out.